this tutorial we will see how to create this fruit bowl using Cleo. So let's start with this uh, grasshopper component for Cleo, the truncated cone. And uh, in here we will be able to set all the parameters. So I will start to set the bottom cap as polygonal. And then we can define the measurements. In here we have the top radius, where can I set the measurement so it's set it by two so i'm going to put it six and looks better now so i'm just defining the shape in this in this truncated cone also i can set here the number of divisions so we will create here a slider to be able to play with the number of divisions and uh, now I want to adjust the number of divisions. We can change any divisions we want. Then we can go back and redefine it. So for the moment, I'm going to keep it with uh, 16. And let's move on to the, to the next step. So the next step, I'm going to create here a clay window and this component allows us to uh, create a window in the selected faces so i just will connect my cone to identify all faces so these decomposed faces allow me to identify all faces in the object and then i apply the window in all the faces of my object as you can see we will be able also to define the distance to any other value in here we can adjust the window size let's define let me also hide the, the original one and now we just see the clay window component as you can see really nice so the next step will be to define the shell so the shell will be uh, will be uh, in this case connected the clay object I want here to define the thickness so once again I need to select all faces and I define my shell to all the faces in this clay object and then of course the shell thickness we can set any thickness we want and as you can see this is the result looks really cool we can just um, in this point add the smooth mode so let's connect this to the instead of the basic view smooth mode view and this is our fruit ball define it of course now the funny is that we can adjust the number of divisions the me the measurements and all will fit to the to the fruit bowl so as you can see here we can set a new slider for the um, for the height so I can adjust the height easily so let's see as you can see can define it really easily and then of course the number of divisions we can play with the shape of this fruit bowl and create many many variations so this is the idea really really easy the advantage of using clay you inside grasshopper play around with the shapes different different um, models we can create with all these uh, variations as you can see it's quite easy Okay, so just uh, 
define the settings now for the final shape so let's make sure I want the in this case the define the height define the number of segments exactly as I want I also will be able to add in here a new slider if I want to play around with them um, in this case I can connect this one to the to the segments along so as you can see really nice and then just let me edit this slider to start maybe three minimum so we can set like this this is what I'm looking for for this fruit bowl looks very nice and here we go and let's see now this is the final result let's see how it looks thank you